Hi guys, welcome to Galley Gourmet with Chef Lisa. Today I am here with Chef Peter from Sugarcane Restaurant and the Driftwood Resorts chain, right? Yeah, that's correct. The Sugarcane yeah. Restaurant's at Nail Bay, Neighbor. which is uh, part of the Driftwood Resorts uh, portfolio. We have Mooney Bay, which you're filming in just now, and we also have the Anagada Beach Club, which is opening in the 1st of March. Yeah, that sounds really amazing, because uh, and this is a, a resort and restaurant? Yes, we've actually we've just put in the pool, uh, the first pool ever in Anagada. Wow! And we've got a 16 bedroom unit hotel uh -huh. and we're building a bar and grill there. And we're going to put putting up a movie, a big movie screen as well wow. so for the locals, so there's something to do uh, and for the resort. And it's got a 650 foot uh, beachfront as well. That sounds beautiful. And what part of the island will that be on? It's on the north side, uh -huh. um, between Cowrec and the Big Bamboo. And it's Anagada Beach Club? That's Anagada the Beach Club, yes. And when does that roughly open? It'll open on the 1st of March. And what type of menu will they uh, have? Very simple, because uh, it's at a bar and grill. We'll have uh, pizzas, uh, lobster, because Anagada needs lobster. <laughs> we'll have the <laughs> coconut crack conch, which is the biggest sell in the sugarcane restaurant. Uh -huh. uh, then uh, press grilled sandwiches for lunch. And then a couple of evenings a week when I go across to the restaurant, then we'll have uh, seafood specials like the seafood bulabese. Right. Uh, and th the local wahoo, mahi, shark, and swordfish. And the beauty of that is that, I mean, you're literally catching them and putting them on the plate virtually, right? Yeah, well, the local fishermen that we actually get our swordfish from come from Anagada, the source. So they catch all the swordfish for nearly the whole of the, the islands, uh, the ones that they sell at the fisheries, and they also sell at the docks. So most swordfish that are sold in the BVI actually come from the source in Anagada. Wow, that's fantastic. And with the sugarcane restaurant, what type of, uh, is it a set menu that you have there or does it change? How does it work? Uh, we have a set menu for lunch and dinner, but uh -huh. we also have theme evenings uh, yeah. because Virgin Gorders uh, put for, for the tourist industry, yes. uh, we have different theme evenings. Saturday we have movie nights and we have a barbecue all you can eat grill, which is very popular. Wednesday evenings uh, we have seafood specialities. Tuesday we have curry night, Yum. which is popular if people turn up <laughs> <laughs> and then firstly we have prime rib and that's very popular people will book uh, their actual portions of prime rib oh wow you know, so and then the the menu then is very varied a lot of island dishes yes stuff like uh, chicken roti uh, conch stew Yum. as well and then the coconut crack conch which is very popular that sound, uh, all of it sounds fantastic um, and, and I'm sensing an accent, where are you from? Uh, I'm from Scotland, in case anybody's <laughs> having problems understanding we'll, what I'm saying. We'll, we'll subtitle this later, okay, it's okay. Yeah, no problem at all. Uh, what part of Scotland are you from? Uh, I'm from Glasgow, uh -huh. uh, Govan. And what, what got left you from Scotland to move here? What brought you here? Well, I actually left Scotland when I was 16, even though I've still got a very oh, really? strong accent. Yeah, I travelled all over the world uh, cooking. Uh -huh. And then I came to the islands in 2004. Yeah. Uh, went to work for a Scotsman um, up in Sky World. Ah. Um, and, and then I fell in love, met a girl from Anagada. Uh, fell in love with a local girl, got married, and then she broke the news she wanted to go back to Scotland. Oh, no. So we ended up going to Shetland for nearly three years. It's a tiny little island at the top of Scotland. Can't get any more wild or cold. And Had then, she been to Scotland before? No. Boy, that's a huge change. Yeah. yeah. She, she actually, she really loved the cold. Yeah. She loved the snow, you know, so. And then uh, we had a son and then we came back to the islands. Oh, so, nice. Yeah. yeah, it's a great place for kids to grow up. Yeah, uh, yeah. Definitely. And so you, you uh, obviously not only cook at the two restaurants with the resorts, but you also cook, like you said, here in Mooney Bay. So if anyone's coming to stay in any of the villas that are part of Nail Bay, they can actually get your services as well, is that right? Give yeah. it enough time? Yes, we have, uh, we have private uh, dining in the villas. Uh, we have select menus, uh, anything from $35 to $80, $100, $150 a head. It just all depends what the clients want. Sure. And whatever they want, th they get. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm seeing some uh, amazing ingredients in front of me. What what do you have planned for us today? Uh, today I'm going to I'm classically French trained, so I'm going to do a, a classic French dish with a Caribbean twist. I'm going to do a seafood bouillabaisse. Yes. Uh, which is a, a French peasant dish, but the ingredients here aren't for peasants. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm looking at them. They're definitely not for peasants. Yeah, that's for sure. Because we have uh, anagada lobster, 
uh, and a guy the conch, uh, the swordfish that I mentioned earlier. Yes. The saws. We have scallops, shrimp, red snapper, salmon, tuna, and some fresh local mahi as wow. well. Wow. Where, where does the salmon come from? Uh, the salmon gets imported from Florida. Not Scotland? No, not no. Scotland, no. <laughs> and, uh, and sorry, the name of it is? Seafood Bilibasi. Seafood Bilibasi. Okay, well, we will take a break and then we're going to come back and see how this gets put together. See you soon. This is my home. British Virgin Islands Sotheby's International Realty. Local expertise, global exposure. Sotheby's International Realty takes great pride in using our expertise, resources, and global connections to unite extraordinary properties with extraordinary buyers who will cherish them as we do. If you're looking to purchase a home in the islands or even a private island in the Caribbean, look no further than British Virgin Islands Sotheby's International Realty. Call us first at 1-284-494-5700 or 1-284-340-5500 or visit our website bvisir.com and let us help you make the BVI your home. This is my home. This is my home. Where I go. Hi guys, welcome back to Galley Gourmet with Chef Lisa and Chef Peter. We are here at the beautiful Moody Bay Villa in Virgin Gorda and I'm just about to be put to work. Peter, what do you need me to do? Okay, first of all, we've got the olive oil heating in the pan. Yes. So what I want you to do now is put in the chopped onions and garlic. We're sure. going to sweat them off first. Okay. So you want this to sort of have a, a bit of an opaque look yeah, to yeah, it? Yeah, we want to get the onions translucent. Yep. Okay. And um, is this something that you would say is, is quite a, a popular choice on the menu? Yeah, at, at the Shukin restaurant, this will be one of the most popular fish dishes that we sell. Uh, just, it's a rustic and it's very filling as well. Yeah. And next up you want? Next we'll have uh, stripped vegetables going in which will be sorted, which okay. is uh, peppers, onions, leeks and celery. Yum. Could you, could you put other vegetables in if you wanted to, or is this sort you of... Can, you can, but you, you, you're looking to get, make sure you have some root crop in there as well, the carrot and the onions, you'll need them in. Yeah. But if you, as long as the, the vegetables aren't too soft. Right. You couldn't put zucchini or yellow squash in. So you nothing too mushy. No, you could put them in at the very end of the dish, yep. but not at the beginning. Right. Okay. And you want this to just be uh, cooked through? Yeah, cook, we're going to do that and then we're going to add a tomato con cast, Okay. Which is actually, it's chopped tomatoes, white wine, garlic, onions, and you, you cook it very slowly for about three hours. Right. Okay, and it releases, the, the, the sugar comes out of the tomatoes and it becomes a sweet, Yum. sweet sauce. And what type of wine goes into that? What, uh, what sort of white wine? Anyway, Chablis if you can, or we have some Ninth Island Chardonnay here from... Australia. Hey, must be good. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gone into this one? And that's gone in there. And then yep. once that's ready, then you pour some of the, the white wine. About roughly how much would go into that? Oh, a good cup. Good cup? Yeah, a good cup. Yeah. Okay. And is this a dish that you sort of uh, played with yourself? Obviously based on a traditional yep. dish. but Well, it's a classical French peasant's dish. Yeah. Uh, but with the, the ingredients we're putting in uh, are completely different to it because the, it, we're the in the Caribbean. Because we're going to put in lobster, scallops, shrimp, swordfish, conch, the snapper, the salmon, tuna and mahi. Does it matter what part of the swordfish you use in this? No, no it's just different cooking times. Yeah. This is the, the fat belly part. Okay. So, so obviously it. that goes first because yeah, so, it so takes you, the longest takes. time. Yeah, okay. so if you put all that in, in first, yep. all in. Okay. Yum. Conk, conk's a tricky thing I find to cook. You've got to be a bit careful with it, don't you? It, well, it the conk that we just put in there, it's been in a pressure cooker. Oh, it has? Yeah, okay. for 45 minutes. Ah. It's been peeled and put in a pressure Or else, if you put in just sliced conk in there, yeah. it, it'd be like rubber. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so a bit of a cheat. It was pressure cooked. No, that's good to know. So people really need to do that before they, they do this dish. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that cooks for roughly how long? In the pressure cooker? Now. Oh, that, about five minutes. That five minutes? For. Yeah, so and then, then we'll add in the other ones that don't take so long to cook. Sure, no problem. 
So we will uh, come back in a few minutes and see how that's going. See you soon, guys. Southern Trades Yacht Sales and Charters offers the luxury of charter yacht ownership. Yacht ownership with charter income. Live the dream. Delight in the fabulous cuisine and experience the most exotic destinations. Your very own award-winning yacht chefs and professional captains. Enjoy the five-star accommodations and absolutely royal service. Southern Trades Yacht Sales specializes in charter yacht sales, yacht ownership, yacht chartering, and yacht management. Located at Village Key Marina, Rowtown Tortola. Call us at 284-494-8003 or visit us at southerntrades.com. Rightway Food Markets is one of the most spacious and modern superstores in the Virgin Islands with the largest selection of fresh foods, wines, beers, and liquors at competitive prices. They even have a provisioning service at just a phone call or click away. While in the British Virgin Islands, you can have your vacation home or yacht provisioned by calling 284-340-5954. Located at Passia Estate in Portola, British Virgin Islands, Rightway Food Markets is your most favorite grocery store, all at one stop. So call Rightway Food Markets at 284-340-2263 or visit www.rtwbvi.com. Hi guys, welcome back to Galley Gourmet with Chef Lisa. I am here with the very handsome Chef Peter <laughs> from Sugarcane Restaurant. Uh, we've got um, Konkin here at the moment. And Konkin swordfish. swordfish. And the vegetables and the tomato broth. Uh, and next, what would you like us to put in? We're, we're going to add in some red snapper, salmon, tuna and mahi. Fantastic. W one piece of each. Sure. Yum, this fish looks so nice. Mahi is one of my favorite fishes. I love the flakiness of it. There we go, put that in there. A bit more. You forgot the mahi. Oh yes. That's us. Yum. So that's going to just cook for roughly. Oh, it'll cook for a few minutes. Yeah. We'll just put the lid on. Okay. Because the final ingredients that we're going to put in yep. are scallops, shrimp, and lobster. Uh -huh. These will only take a minute or two. Sure. And we'll finish it off with some pernil, yep. which gives it the punch at the end. Uh -huh. And then we'll go to plate it up. Sure. So we've got this bubbling away over okay, here. Okay, this is bubbling away. Yeah. How's that looking? Can I chuck in some more stuff? Oh, yeah. So you want the lobster in next? Uh, put this, uh, a couple of scallops couple of shrimp. Sure. This just, oh my God, I wish that TV you could smell because this smells incredible, really good. Okay, and the lobster. And the lobster, all or just a bit? A bit? All, okay. all, all you go. we'll put it all in. <laughs> Let's go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that looks so good. Okay, now we're just going to give it a splash of pernil. Okay, and if someone hasn't used this before, what sort of a taste is yeah. this, do you think? Well, it's aniseed. Uh-huh. It's aniseed, and it would be called pernod here, but it's silent D, pernod yes. or ricard. And it's very, very good with all seafoods. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. If people weren't a fan of that flavour, what would be something else that they could the, do? They, they could add some freshly squeezed lime into it. You know, so it's to, that to stop citrusy the, yeah, kind to, of taste. Yeah, to get away from that, that alcohol. Yeah. You're actually cooking that alcohol out too, isn't you? Just leaving yeah. the, the actual flavour Yeah, that's why behind. I put it in last so it doesn't all go away. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're going to put in some, we've got some chopped parsley and cilantro. Yep. Just to finish it off. And does it matter what kind of parsley you use? I know there's Italian it, flat leaf and there's um, also the, just the... the this is curly parsley. Okay. Uh, not flat leaf. Because if you're using flat leaf, then you wouldn't use the cilantro. Right, um, and why is that? I just because they're, they're too similar the leaf. To look at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so you want, you're looking at two different textures in yeah. there. Okay, as well as flavour, obviously. And we'll just turn this down. Sure. That looks so pretty. Yum. And so that's going to cook now for... That, the dish is ready. It's ready to go. Yeah, wow. it's ready to go. That is fast. I know you've got some asparagus over here. Yeah, we're going to roast some asparagus spears yes. uh, from raw because uh, if you boil them, you, you lose the flavour. Yes. Most people boil asparagus. They should just put it into a pan and fry it a little bit. Sure. Okay. 
So what we might do, guys, is we'll uh, get that organised and we will see you very soon. We'll come back. See you later. Shop online at your favourite US sites at Aeropost.com. Sign up for your Miami address at Aeropost.com. Receive your packages at home, work or at an Aeropost store. Enjoy Aeropost services. Sign up now at Aeropost.com and start shopping today. Aeropost brings you a world of possibilities. Welcome back. We are here with Chef Peter from Sugarcane Restaurant and we are in the final stages of this incredible dish. So what do we do now? What's okay. next? We're just going to plate it up yep. very, very simply. Uh -huh. we're going to, we've got some carrot puree here that I made earlier. It's uh, just carrots boiled down with some butter, sugar, water and let it reduce right down and then puree them up. Put them in the food blender, use a hand mixer and blend them down. Beautiful. N nice and smooth. Okay. Very nice. And then we've had the uh, asparagus that you just roasted off for us, Lisa. Yes. And then we'll just... Oh. It, I like the idea of roasting it too. Like you said, it's just a, a, a nice flavour and, and texture. Yeah, and it keeps all the nutrients in it as well. It does. All the vitamins. Yeah. Okay. And then we just want to give ourselves a nice big ladle. Yum. Of the seafood stew. Try and get... Peter, that looks just the vegetables incredible. And all the bits of fish. Wow. It is a hearty meal, it's not for lunch, but this bowl, if you served it, you could serve two or three people if you just get a big, nice, big you could, couldn't loaf you? of bread. What sort of a wine would you pair with this dish? This, I would have a, a Chablis uh -huh. with this, or a Poulifoussi, Poulifoumi. That would be nice. Uh, any of those. Yeah. Um, white Burgundies are very good. Oh, this smells just ridiculously good. Okay, and, and to garnish, we're going to put a, a lemon in, in case anybody wants a extra bit lemon flavour. Yeah. And then I've got some leek straws here, which is just there. Uh, we floured them, and then we deep fried them for about two minutes. So when you flour them, just for those that aren't sure how to do that, that's so basically what what's the technique that you're doing? Uh, with ju that? Just slice them yep. as thinly as they can. Yes. And then just put them into flour. Uh huh. Shake the flour off and put them in the fryer for about two minutes. Two minutes. And yeah. could they do that in a like a, a large pot? Yeah, they can as long as they're careful. Yes, you don't as want to be splashed careful. with yeah. hot oil. Yeah, hot oil. <laughs> now a little bit of oregano at the end. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Peter, this just looks ridiculously amazing. And that's it, very simple. Uh, seafood bouillabaisse, classic French dish with a carabine twist. Okay, I um yeah, I'm gonna dig into the, the seafood in a minute. Oh my god. Those flavours are incredible. A perno in there. Yeah, the, the anise comes through strong, but oh. it complements seafood so well. It's beautiful. It's mm. just a lovely mix of a little bit of savoury, a little bit of sweet, and just the citrusy. Mm. Oh. And the sweet's coming through from the tomato, mm. the tomato broth, because you, you, you cook your tomato slow, and the sweetness and the oh. sugar comes out. Fantastic. Peter, I am so grateful for you coming on and showing us this. This is to die for. And um, for those at home, if you want to catch Peter, you, you better be quick because he's hugely popular here in Virgin Gorda. But Sugarcane Restaurant for now. Yes. Or the villas at Nail Bay here with the Driftwood Resorts. Yeah. And in a month or two, Anagata Reef. So he's everywhere. No, Anagata Beach Club. Anagata Beach Club, Beach yes, Club. I, I can't get and that wrong because it's the opposition. <laughs> yeah, another side of the island. Exactly. I'll be there. Peter, thank you so okay, much. Thanks it's a lot a for real having pleasure. me on. Really nice. Guys, we're going to chow down on this, so I'm going to say bye for now and see you next time. Bye now.